Final Fantasy XIV is the game that changed my life for the better, and that's something I never expected to say on my life. It's been two short years since I started playing, and I have so much love and passion for this game as well as many thoughts about it, and I want to take you through my experience with the game and how I got to where I am today. I, like many others, were captivated by World of Warcraft, and I spent over a decade playing the game and loving it to death, but I started straying away from it around Battle for Azeroth due to it being an awful experience. Yet, I convinced myself that Classic WoW would reignite the spark and joy I got from the game. When it came to Classic, I had fond memories of making my first ever character in the game and remember the happiness I felt exploring a new world, and I thought Classic was going to be my answer for the game that I wanted to exist and bring me joy. I found a home with a guild that I remained in for the duration of Classic, but while there were fun times, I mostly remember it as bad and I truly think it was the unhappiest I felt due to how I was. Classic WoW, and to some extent WoW in general, kind of allows you to thrive if you're both shitty attitude-wise and as a person. It's just how the game and community are in my opinion, which unfortunately for me was an environment that I fed into, and I was one of those people that thrived at the time. I did have that self-realization eventually though, and by the end of Classic, I knew that I wanted to be better. To be better than what and who I was, so I decided to leave it all behind. The friends I had for over a decade playing Retail WoW, the people I met playing Classic, and all the games that brought out the worst in me. While it was probably the smartest decision I've made in order to be better, I can't lie, it definitely felt lonely to not have anyone I knew in my gaming circles, especially because I have such bad anxiety when meeting or talking to new people. It was just something that had to be done for myself though. It caused me to look for many games and ultimately I decided I wanted some kind of game like Classic where the main draw was the community aspects of it, as well as the ability to be known throughout said community. I had tried 14 a few times at that point, making a few low level answers that never made it past level 15 because I thought the game was so ungodly slow and boring because of the global cooldown that I kept losing interest in it. It still took me some time to figure out if I ever wanted to play 14 again or not, but I do have people to thank for when it came to making my choice about giving it another try with my full attention on it. Without any games to really catch my interest, I did become an avid 14 watcher and found three people in particular that I enjoyed so much that I checked out their content and began watching their streams and videos about 14. After a little more thought, I decided to download it once again and at least play it as a free trial until I beat the free content and needed to buy the expansions to progress. I only remember Cat Girls being a thing everyone played and I think my first few Lancers were as well, but I wanted this new try to be my clean slate for myself. I ditched my old online name for a new one and picked the only proper choice in my mind which was Lalafell. My typical character creation in MMOs is usually the smallest race with the biggest sword and that stayed consistent throughout the years, but I didn't remember Lalafells existing when I tried the game the first few times as I defaulted to cat girls like everyone else. But then I made my Lala and that was the beginning of my love for this game. I made my character and was ready to play, however this time, while I am a melee player in literally every MMO that I've played, I gave up all hope that Lancer was going to be the job that was going to get me to stick to playing the game. So I made the rational choice of picking the job I knew was going to be easy to learn, do high damage, and be fun to play, and that was Thaumaturge, aka Black Mage. And to my credit, I did no research on the jobs, and in my years of MMO experiences, casters tended to be really, really good and strong, and in this case, I wasn't particularly wrong, but the fact that it had stances with its ice and fire, it felt very much at home for me because of warrior stances in Classic. It did make me stick with the game up until I hit level 50 and immediately bought Shadowbringers so I could unlock Red Mage and Samurai, and I stuck with those until I beat MSQ. Though before I beat MSQ, something happened when I bought the game. Something that I never experienced in WoW in 10 years of playing. Quite literally, the moment I logged in after purchasing Shadowbringers and ended my free trial, someone was there and handed me something I've used every single day that I've logged into 14. A stranger that I never talked to saw my sprout icon and decided to hand me a silver dasher and gave me kind words before heading off. I genuinely felt so extremely happy because it caught me so off guard. I really didn't think it was true when I heard veteran players just handed things to Sprouts and interacted with new blood to try and spread that love of the game with them. It gave me a push to wanting to play even more and nowadays I tend to stockpile silver dashers and hand them out to Sprouts as tradition because for me, the silver dasher symbolizes everything that I love about this game and hope someone else connects with that. I also did end up finding some of my first new friends in 14 completely by chance. When I first started, I would do MSQ while watching Whoops and occasionally sit at the Limsa tree to take breaks from MSQ to watch the stream. 
While I did that though, someone reached out to me once and began chatting with me, which while in retrospect seems like nothing at all and especially in Limsa potentially bad, it really did cause me to change forever. I met a good friend and now free company leader just because he wanted to interact with a sprout. He saw me sit at the tree alone every once in a while and decided to message me out of nowhere and it caused us to have really good and fun chats. From there on, he introduced me to many others and now I have friends both in and out of 14 that I love with all my heart and hope we remain friends for a long while. All because he took the time to interact with someone who was a nobody and it was just because I had a sprout icon. Whether it was actively playing the game or taking breaks, veterans of the community were so open to fresh blood and interacting with sprouts that I became addicted. It felt awesome to have a community that was so welcoming and willing to help those who are on their own. Now, why did this moment matter to me and why did it spiral my affection for the game to such a point of love afterwards? Well, I think we tend to forget what it's like to be a newer player in a game that they're unfamiliar with and are alone, but having someone be that light and motivation to keep them playing the game and moving forward with it is really nice. It really did feel at that point like I got a second chance despite no one playing the game around me knowing about my past. I got my clean slate, my opportunity to change, through an interaction many people would consider insignificant or nothing of note. I felt happy because after meeting everyone I did through him, I changed in the way I wanted to. A lot of my opinions changed, how I acted changed, and how I matured as a person was night and day to who I was. Am I perfect by any means now? No, absolutely not. But I try my best to learn about others and keep as best of an open mind as I can. Do I think 14 is a game that causes such profound change in one's personality and ideology? Absolutely not. But I do think it does if it's for someone who seeks change in their lives. This game allows you to meet truly colorful and interesting people of all kinds and despite there still being some bad eggs, 14 is truly awesome with the people you meet along the way. Experiencing all this at the same time as going through MSQ and eventually reaching the end of my journey with Shadowbringers, it definitely resonated with me a lot more. My passion and love of playing this game kept growing once I was finally done with the story because of the people I met and I wanted to try my hands at the difficult content that the game had to offer. Now I work with the MMO mentality and I saw a lot of people with legend titles and weapons and wanted to get my hands on them. My friends tried to get me involved with the extremes at first but they eventually tossed me into ultimates because I asked so often. It is so unbelievable to me that I decided to not play 14 for years up until this point. Getting tossed into Yukob as my first piece of difficult content blew my mind with how cool it was. Now mind you, I didn't kill Twintania my first time, but I did a good enough job to want to pursue and clear every ultimate I could going forward. My friends decided that we clear Uu instead of Yukob first, and by the end of it, I was the only one doing it in PF until I cleared in a month and a half later, which was just in time for Endwalker to release a few short weeks after. I felt so incredibly accomplished even though looking back I was still quite bad at the game but I still cleared the fight and I wanted to do even more and eventually I did with me clearing Yukob in top while now looking to prog DSR. Endwalker was slightly different for me but I want to go over that another time. For now here's what I'll say. All my experiences with the different type of personalities and people that I've met and interacted with by playing this game have been phenomenal. For those that need to hear it, even if you deal with anxiety or have a hard time hopping into PF or reaching out to others, I ask that you find your courage and get to truly experience what the game has to offer with both the content it has to provide as well as the gems of people that you'll get to talk to regularly. If there's anything to take away from my experiences, despite people not knowing who I was or how I used to act, I got to get my second chance with being better by playing this game and I think others can and deserve that too if they want to be better. I don't think this game is fully responsible for my changes but it certainly helped with the community it has fostered and the passion people have for their game. I've done amazing content, got to create my warrior of light and OC that I love dearly, found friends that mean the world to me and grew more than I could have ever hoped for. 14 holds such a special place in my heart and I plan on playing till the servers go down. To Anubis and Whoops, thank you for helping me find a game that I love and you guys changed my life for the better as well as inspiring others. That's all for this video though, I hope to be alongside everyone when Dondrill comes out.